Health and PE is about teaching students to lead healthy, active and safe lives now and into their futures. We're now in a position for the first time in our history where we have a nationally agreed framework for what health and physical education and what quality health and physical education can look like. The curriculum really acknowledges the diversity of students in the classroom, the diversity of relationships that they will have and the diversity of families and cultures that they come from. So this area of the curriculum aims to give them a toolkit that they can pick and choose from at different aspects, whether they're struggling with tough times or their friends are struggling, through to everyday things around how do I be resilient and how do I improve my already great mental health. I think it'll be an opportunity for teachers to do things differently, to do things that, can, that really connect with students in, in contemporary Australia. So the new curriculum will actually help young people to have respectful relationships when they're older, safe relationships, informed relationships and relationships that they feel happy about. To have a young person who knows themselves best around their own mental health and their own well-being um, is vital for a good and happy life. It's quite exciting that it will allow teachers and students to be able to explore the issues that are important to them in a safe way. Be a range of health issues to do with the individual and community. So those health issues will be around alcohol and other drugs, uh, sexuality in relationships, food and nutrition for example. Just like it's important for us to teach students to read and write and to build those foundations in the early years, so it is for us to build those foundations of movement for students in the early years. Most parents and carers are really concerned about the messages that their children receive from the media and the outside world. The approach that we have woven across health and PE is to make sure all students engage. We don't want to have students sitting on the margins of, of good health decisions or, become, or engaging in physical activity. The world we live in is amazing because it is now online and offline. Um, and because of that, we also need to have the skills that young people need to, to develop relationships that are positive online, that brings them a sense of community, as well as online and offline. So you have a sense of community that is both in both worlds. Children and young people are learning about relationships all of the time. It's teaching things like, you know, decision making, being assertive, how to be a good friend, um, you know, knowing about, well, what do I do if I do think I've got a crush on somebody? Is that safe or isn't it? We, we could talk about um, movement skills being skills in relation to uh, locomotor and non-locomotor movement skills. So um, providing opportunities where students can develop running, jumping, striking, leaping, bounding type activity in a variety of contexts in which they have the opportunity to do those. There's going to be something in it for, for everyone. If a child is interested in sport and, and competitive sport, there'll be an opportunity to engage with that and hopefully develop their skills in that. But if the student is, has uh, interests in more individual sports or more aesthetic, there's also an opportunity for them to excel in that area. I know a lot of parents get quite concerned about hearing that relationships and sexuality is taught in primary school. I think the thing to remember is that it's done age appropriately. They're just learning about their bodies and being safe, the feelings that they have and how to have friendships. A young person will learn how they feel, how others feel and actually how to seek help and break stigma. It's really important to give people opportunities to, to, to find ways to move in a lifestyle that's becoming increasingly sedentary.